So, I've been snapping blades on the sawmill, and these things are pricey. So, it's silver sword in flux, but if it works, we get out on top. Now we just need to make something to hold the ends together. The first thing I found in the junk pile was this profile. So, let's cut out the slits so we can see where the ends will meet. And we cut it off. Then we drill some holes for the clamping mechanism. Clean up the surface a bit. And remove the galvanization of a pair of nuts. Just using some threaded rod to hold the nuts in place. Then it's time for one of YouTube's worst welders to do his thing. Retapping the threads and cutting two pieces from the threaded rod. Things were a bit cramped, so I put bench grinder on the ground in order to grind a rather substantial overlap on the ends of the blade. Try to remove most of the oxide with a brush wheel. Then we thread the ends into our jig and clamp it in place with the rods. Then we give it a generous amount of flux and clamp it all in place. I've just snipped off some small pieces of silver that sits on top of the flux. When the metal gets hot enough, the silver will just wick into the joint. I did have a go with a regular propane torch, but I had to step it up to propane with compressed air and a glass blown torch. A uh, methylatical ketone torch would probably work though. Now, I'm sort of an idiot that didn't think far enough ahead, so here we're cutting a slit to get the blade back out. Now, we have to resharpen the teeth, so the plan is to shape the grinding wheel to the tooth profile. I'm just using a broken diamond drill bit, but any scrap diamond tool will do. When you have the right outline, it's just about touching off on a tooth and then roll back over the next one. Now, the last thing we need to do is setting the teeth. Maybe you can do it by hand, but I suspect you save yourself a lot of hassle if you make a jig that can do a consistent set. So, the plan is to make some kind of grooved block that slides along the blade with a bolt that set the teeth. Drilling a hole for the bolt and giving it some threads. Rounding off the bolt. Ooh, we get to use the thing from the other video. As well as the fly cut done. Then we cut to the depth of the blade. Then we cut some space for the set of the teeth. And the sharp eyed among you may ask yourself, is that a wood rafting bit? And yes, yes it is. But I firmly believe that high speed steel is high speed steel. The other block only need teeth relief.
I made some welding goggles for the camera, so now we can actually see something. Or maybe not. Then you use a wrench to set every other tooth all the way around. Then you flip the block around and repeat. Now if everything is worked out, we can put the blade back on the sawmill. Seems about right. And let's speed this up a bit, but yeah, the sawmill is back up and running, so there will be a bit of woodworking in the not-so-distant future. Hope anyone found this useful or entertaining. Regardless, thanks for watching.